Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my forest. It's a lovely spring day today. And uh, we haven't had too many of those this year. March is usually one of my favorite months because of spring. Uh, so light is coming back, the temperatures are going up and uh, everything is coming to life, life again and it, it's a lot lighter now than uh, a month, a month and a half ago we've, we've been getting really poor weather, rain and wind so that spring feeling hasn't really struck me yet But the forecast is good for the weekend, so hopefully. I'm uh, smoking some uh, Cornell and Deal, Burley Flake number three. Burley, Virginia and Perique. And it's not really a flake, I suppose it's a broken flake, something like that. But it's really tasty, really like it, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, be getting some more, or I'll be ordering some next month, April. Um, last time I ordered uh, from the US I, I got busted by customs real bad, but I've uh, got someone that will uh, ship it to me now so it won't be labeled as coming from a, a tobacconist and hopefully that'll do the trick the pipe I'm smoking this is a short stubby pear pipe pear wood pipe And it's not the wood I use very often uh, because I don't have any pear trees growing around here. This wood I got from a friend uh, and uh, he cut down a pear tree in his garden and gave me some wood. So I made a pipe for me, a pipe for him. and. Uh, I also made one uh, uh, for my only giveaway so far, uh, my 100 sub giveaway. And that pipe ended up with the uh, Bear Beard in London. But I, I, I really like pear wood. The pipe isn't stained. It, it's uh, uh, it has a grayish, really dull color until you put the wax on, and then you get this reddish, brownish color. And uh, the reason it's small is <laughs> simply that I didn't get a lot of wood. I had to do what I could with, with uh, the pieces I got. As you can see from the topic of the video, it, it's a belated uh, St. Patrick's Day greeting. I was planning to make a video on St. Patrick's Day. But I was a bit too tired. I smoked some uh, Mick McQuaid plug, I had a pint of stout, uh, Murphy's Irish stout, not Guinness, I prefer Murphy's, 
and not really because of the taste, more for the fact that Murphy's is made in cork and uh, cork is my let's call it native <laughs> county in Ireland I spent a lot of time down there uh, I posted a picture on Instagram of me with the pipe and uh, the pint and uh, I suppose that will be my annual Instagram post I'm not very active at all on Instagram so but uh, I also flew the Irish flag during St. Patrick's Day so it was a pretty good St. Patrick's Day for me not so much <laughs> elsewhere in the world I think a lot of parades were cancelled parades in Ireland were cancelled the pubs and bars in Ireland were closed so, so they didn't get much of the celebration um, I'll be a bit of a know-it-all now regarding St. Patrick's Day in Ireland uh, and uh, I hope you will forgive me. It, it's uh, it's done in in a good spirit. Uh, I've noticed that some people in the U.S. call it St. Patty's Day. That's just plain wrong. Wrong. Don't do it. Uh, there are a lot of Patricks. Paddies, Padrigs, Pats in Ireland, but there's no one called Patty. So it, it's it's St. Patrick's Day, St. Pat's Day, St. Paddy's Day, but not St. Patty's. I also saw that people have been posting uh, pictures of, of uh, four leaf clovers in regard to St. Patrick's Day or in regard of Ireland in general and uh, that's also wrong uh, the four-leaf clover isn't a symbol for Ireland the shamrock which is a three-leaf clover is a symbol of Ireland and uh, the missing leaf the fourth leaf makes a difference because uh, St. Patrick used the shamrock with its three leaves uh, to explain the Holy Trinity when he was christening Ireland so therefore it's a shamrock three leaves and uh, I mean the, the four leaf turns up everywhere uh, in, in uh, stuff relating to, to Ireland not made by the Irish uh, I think uh, uh, this old MAGA hat for St. Patrick's Day with, with a four leaf clover in the back and I was wrong there's a very popular pipe maker I won't mention any names but uh, they use uh, the Irish flag uh, on their uh, labels and logos and they've got a four leaf clover uh, but I'm sure their pipes are, are perfectly fine anyway well you'll never catch me smoking one well you won't catch me smoking a boat pipe anyway I only use my own, so that's not mu much of a threat. Yeah, that was uh, the I know it all part of the video. Uh, my coffee is boiling now.
I don't want to I'll put this down. It'd be a shame to waste coffee spilling it now. I don't know what else I can tell you. Yeah, I can tell you that Wednesdays that's the best smoking day of the week for me. Wednesdays almost always nowadays produce fantastic smokes. And it's uh, since I took up uh, instructing at the boxing class I do my own session before and then I do the boxing and uh, I get home eat a bit take a shower and then go out uh, and uh, smoke a pipe and uh, I think everything I've smoked those Wednesday evenings has tasted uh, fantastic Really, really great. So that, that's uh, Wednesday smokes are the best. And I suppose it's <laughs> it's Ash Wednesday for me. I'm smoking my Ash pipe on the Wednesdays. Well, I'm smoking it most of the week. Yeah, I'm uh, rambling now, so I I'll uh, stop here and uh, get on with my coffee and my pipe. Thanks for watching, take care, and uh, I hope to see you soon again. Bye.